Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, this is the way I done prediction or prediction by Max Maven. Um, different handling to what he done. If you'd like to see how he done it, or the way I think he done it, I will leave a link in the description box to a private video you can go and peruse if you desire. Right, what do you need? You need to pick out a card you're going to use. I'll use the same one, the five of clubs. You get it out of both packets. Stick one of the, stick one of them upside down in the middle of one of the packets and put that packet into the box. That packet is all then set. To throw people off the scent, I had the five of clubs on this one, on the bottom, with one card on top of it. So I could show the bottom of the packet and you're not seeing a five of clubs. I'm also free to spread the packet on the table as long as I don't split them last two cards. So they see the five. Even if you do split it, it's not a big deal. They're not going to really notice. The packet's mixed up. Close it up. Milk the bottom card off as you do your first shuffle. Leaving the five of clubs on the bottom. And shuffle that five of clubs up to the top. Do a riffle shuffle, keeping it on the top. Do another overhand shuffle, taking it back down to the bottom. Do another riffle, keeping it on the bottom. Then you ask your spectator to cut the packet into two piles. The five is on the bottom. So they cut the packet into two piles. Magician's force time. Pick a pile. Whichever one they pick, you're keeping that one. You know the five's on the bottom. So that packet goes bye-bye. You then ask them to deal two piles. You can, if you want, you can, if you want, just look to see which pile the last card goes on and you know which one's got the five of clubs in. If you didn't pay attention, you can get them to turn the two top cards over. Look at that, a pair of fives. Or you can just say, pick a pile at this point. Right? You know the fives on there. Pick a pile at this point. Magician's force, you need to keep that pile. That pile goes bye bye. You then tell them to have a look at the top card. Freely chosen from a shuffled packet. Get rid of that one. Get them to take the, bo uh, the box and take the cards out and spread them facing up on the table. So they will see that there is one facing down card in the middle, which just happens to be the twin brother of that one, apart from he's got a different back. And that's the way I done it. Nice and simple, very easy to do. As I say, if you want to see um, a tutorial on what the handling way he done it, down in the description box there will be a link to, as I say, a private video that you can look at if you want to. Um, with saying that, I do hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.